Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and it's that time again. We once again have some more brand new duels challenges for October 2018 and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to solve the first three challenges for this new set of duels challenges. Now of course you guys can see there's only two on my screen right here. And don't worry, we are doing the third one. It's just it hasn't released at the time of me recording the first two. So without further ado, let's jump into number one. Alright guys, so this first duels challenge is actually super, super straightforward. It's almost just activate cards and you should be good to go. So without further ado, let's jump into it. And we're going to start off by activating our face down card, Blast with Chain. And we're going to target our monster to trigger off its effect to special summon a normal monster from the deck. Now, of course, it's going to activate. We're not going to change right away. I don't think there's any reason not to. I just like to get these things resolved first. We're going to summon our Heratic Dragon of the Sun Overlord or whatever its name is. Uh, and then once that thing is out, we're going to be able to pop off with our double cyclone, destroying our back row and theirs. We'll destroy our blaster chain, and then we'll destroy our, their mirror wall. That's, of course, going to you know help us uh, be successful when it comes to actually attacking. Then we're going to activate order to charge, and that's going to let us tribute off this uh, normal monster on that side of the field, which we don't need because there's no attack stat, and then destroy one of the monsters on their side of the field. So we'll do that. We'll tribute off our guy. Chain's going to resolve. Auto charge that just pop one of the Luster Dragons, and then once Blast with Chain hits the graveyard from being destroyed, its effect activates and allows us to pop the other Luster Dragon. And from here on, it's as simple as clicking Battle Phase and swiping for an attack. So there you guys have it. That's how you complete Duelist Challenge number one. Without further ado, let's jump on over to Duelist Challenge number two. Alright guys, for Duelist Challenge number two, things get a little bit more complicated because you do somewhat need to know what cards are in your deck. Uh, but I'm going to, of course, show you guys the solution and how to get through this without having to make any mistakes. And to start things off, we're actually going to start off by activating, or rather summoning, our Aqua Actress Guppy. And then we're going to activate her effect to let us special summon another Aqua Actress monster from our hand. And that is, of course, going to be the Arowana. Now, once that Arowana hits the field, we want to use its effect as well. And it lets us search out another Aqua Actress monster. Or is it Spell and Trap? No, it is a monster from your deck to your hand. Now, once you have this monster in your hand, you need to summon it, right? And the only way we can do that is by activating Aquarium Set. And then we're going to use Parallel Twister to send it to the graveyard and destroy one face-up card in the field. So we'll send Aquarium Set, and we're actually going to destroy Aqua Actress Guppy. Now, the reason is, Aquarium Set's going to let us revive that Aqua Actress Guppy. And because Guppy left the field and came back again, its once per turn effect can technically be used again because it's effectively a different card. Now we're going to activate its once per turn effect again to special summon another Aqua Actress. Of course, that's going to be our Tetra. And now Tetra has a very nice effect of her own. You're actually, or his own, you're actually able to add an Aqua Actress, or sorry, Aquarium card from your deck to your hand. And that's going to be Aquarium Lightning. This card doubles the attack by monsters when they battle. So we'll pop that thing on the field and we'll enter our battle phase. And the effect of Lightning is basically going to give us more than enough attack actually uh, do 5,500 damage over our opponent's monsters as you guys can see right here that my friends is the game all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this duelist challenge uh, breakdown at least for the first two we're gonna jump into duelist challenge number three in a moment all right guys so here we are duelist challenge three is live and we're gonna jump straight into it I've already given it a go as you guys can tell and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I pass challenge number three to get myself 30 gems. All right, guys. So my favorite thing about this challenge is it actually uses a semi-relevant deck, the combination of Fire Kings and Ubel. So let me show you guys exactly how this thing goes down. Now, first thing you want to do is activate your Fire King Island, and you're going to destroy Ubel from your hand to search out your Fire King avatar, Yaksha. I believe his name is. Yes, that is what his name is. And then you're going to trigger off Ubel's effect to special summon her upgraded form, I believe, Terra Incarnate. Yep, that's the one. We're going to get Terra Incarnate onto the field. Then we're going to normal summon Fire King Avatar Yaksha. And once he's on the field, we're going to activate D spell and destroy our Fire King Island. And that's in turn going to destroy our, you know, entire field of monsters. So pop the Fire King Island and then we'll obviously hold off on the Wild Tornado. Fire King Island is going to destroy our monsters, allowing us to trigger Terra Incarnate to summon, I believe, Nightmare Incarnate, which is amazing. is a powerful monster. And then we're going to use Yaksha to then destroy a card on our field, and that card is going to be our Wild Tornado. But before we do that, we also get to activate Fire King Avatar Barong, who special summons himself to the field. So like I said, once you trigger off this big chain of effects, uh, you're of course going to summon your Barong in attack position, so you can attack with it. Then you're going to use your uh, Yaksha to destroy your Wild Tornado, and then finally you're going to summon off, of course, like I said, your Ultimate Nightmare, Yubel. 
Now, once all this happens, Wild Tornado is going to activate from the graveyard, letting you destroy a card in the field. We're going to destroy, the, of course, the Elemental Hero Burst Sinistrix because she's obviously getting in our way. And then we're going to jump straight into the battle phase. Once you're in the battle phase, attack the Neos with your Nightmare. And that's going to do 2500 damage to Neos' attack in effect damage and then destroy him, leaving your opponent open for a direct attack with Barong for exact lethal. Anyway guys, that's it for this Duelist Challenge Solution video. I want to do the first three as quickly as possible. And of course guys, I'm going to be solving Duelist Challenges 4 and 5 when they come out. So make sure you subscribe to see the solutions for those challenges in upcoming videos over the next two days. Either way, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys found this useful. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.